Twin Cities Adventures here with our Swamp Dragon playlist here and this is Drago in his 40 gallon tank and I'll give you a little run through of his tank and his little habitat here and then we'll do an update here because today Drago is going to move on. We're going to set him free. Okay, so this is Drago's third home. The first home was when he was about less than a week old. He was in a five gallon tank. And then he outgrew that, so we put him in a 20 gallon tank. And now he outgrew that, so he's been in this 40 gallon tank for a short period of time. And Drago's very happy in here, but he's getting too big to be held captive. So we did rescue Drago from the wild and he, the whole idea behind bringing him home is because we didn't want him to get eaten by predators and we thought it would be fun to raise a little baby swamp dragon. But now he's bigger and he can fend for himself and he's proven himself a very, very good hunter. So today we're gonna release him into the wild. The top just opens up here. He does have a landing pad over here. And we have a water purifier right here and some fake grass and a lot of stones here. There was some goldfish in here, but not anymore. He also eats minnows and food pellets. You can see how big Drago is compared to my hand. He is a big, big boy. See, look at how long his tail is. And here's Drago. Hi, happy little Drago. Good little snapping turtle. Let's check out his claws. And look at his back claws there. His little swamp dragon tail. These are sharp claws. He will grab a minnow and bite it and take those claws and just rip the minnow right in half. He's so strong. Pretty turtle. Today's your day to move on and be set free. So we're excited about that. Here's a little Snap for you. Such a pretty little turtle. We'll just put him right back down in there. Mm -hmm. His happy little spot. We did put a little bubbler underneath there so it bubbles up. He likes hanging out by the bubbler. So in the next clip we will be out in nature and we picked a lake that has no chemical runoff and the water is deep so he can hibernate and it's filled with fish and lily pads and healthy plant life so it'll be a good life for him. Here's Drago. You can see he's gotten really big. So look at his underside and the top of his shell. I can see him walking around. Well, in the bucket ride to the our protected land. Okay, so here is a protected lake, and it is in a place where they don't use any harmful chemicals, and a lot of natural resources here. See, look, there's a egret over there, a white one, hunting for probably small fish. And this is full of lily pads, and usually there's lots of frogs and turtles here, lots of duckweed. So here's your big moment, Drago. Why don't we put him, pick him up and put him over on the beach, that little spot down there.
view of some other parts of the lake. Drago moving around down there, checking stuff out under the seaweed. Maybe his nose sticking up right there. Well, Drago has a good life ahead of him. It was fun fostering him when he was young, saving him from becoming food for any predators. We had him for a little over a year at our home. So, thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out.